Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Right, another day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. We are very lucky to have another Cyber CEO on the show right now. Jordan, how are you doing today? I'm good, Jello. Thanks for having me on today. Of course, we really appreciate your time. So, um, for everyone's benefit, everyone who's listening, watching, can you tell us something about yourself, Jordan? Something about myself. Um, well, I, I figure this is more geared towards business owners. So, I am a, a real estate owner, um, team lead here out of Chicago. I've uh, been selling real estate for the last eight years, um, originally from Fort Wayne, Indiana, having a lot of fun with it, learning every day. And uh, now it's it's really fun and exciting that I can now start building a team around me and, and giving opportunity to other people. So a big part of that has been aligning um, myself with Cyberbacker as well. All right, that's good. So you, since you already mentioned it, you already have your Cyberbacker, how long have you been working with one? Yeah, so we were just talking a little bit. So it's it's only been for me about two and a half months. So I think August will be the the end of our third full month together. Okay. So how has the experience been so far, Jordan, working with your own cyber backer? It's been good. You know, with anything, I think you know both sides of the street have to be swept. You know, you got to put in the right directives. You have to have transparent conversations and and really uh, start to feel each other out on how we work and things like that. So overall, it's been a very pleasant experience. Um, anything that might have presented a challenge was probably more something that was on my end of things, right? Working it into my schedule and learning how to um, properly kind of assign tasks and, and educate and help train on certain things. Um, but overall, it's it's saved me a lot of time, especially now that we have a few core things running um, and, you know, built and running. We obviously had to go through an ideation phase of that. Um, and then we, you know, talked about my vision. I allowed and uh, asked for feedback in terms of, you know, what was um, through the lens of my side, Rebecca Jenny, who's been awesome, um, what she thought we should do or, or how we could do it differently or based on her expertise. Um, what she thinks might work the best. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the the normal pains of just working with somebody that you haven't worked with before, uh, but now we have a few um, good good workflow processes in place and we're, we're learning from each other every day. That's very, very important, learning from each other. I love what you said there. By the way, sure. since we're already talking about Jenny, can you tell me something about her? How's it been, the interaction, things like that? Jenny, so from the very first, um, so your process, right, of, of basically, aligning a CEO or a business owner with a cyber backer, um, you know, that process was, I knew right away that Jenny was the one that I was, you know, once I went through the interview process with, I think there was four or five others that I had the opportunity of speaking with just to talk about kind of what the job description was that I put together at the beginning. And what most impressed me about Jenny was, um, I think you have a lot of things in your head about, you know, hiring specifically, you know, outside of the US, right? And, and I had some of those same feelings and those ideas too. And, what struck me right away was how awesome her English was, truthfully, and how and how she could elegantly communicate and how she could listen and be able to regurgitate that and basically, um, you know, relay back to me what I said and to make sure that we're both on the same page. So uh, I was far, you know, that far exceeded my expectations and how much it would feel just like I was working with somebody that was stationed here, whether it be in Chicago or, or in the U.S. Of course, again, a two way street now. Yeah. It's only been a few months that you've been working with your own cyber backer, but what do you think would make this a successful partnership for gearing towards the future? Uh, yeah, specifically with my, you know, my team here and, and Jenny being a, you know, integral part of that. I think it's, it's continuing to, um, to focus on leveraging my weaknesses, you know, releasing control of some things, you know, before I, started building a team and not only through administrative support such as Jenny and I also have a transaction coordinator who's full time who does um, more of the client interfacing stuff, you know, from contract to close and listing management. Um, but before growing this team, it was everything was always contained in my brain on how to do things right so learning how to delegate uh, responsibly learning how to 
um, you know, give somebody something to, to go and make that their own and, and allow them to, you know, use their creative freedoms to go out there and execute on that project. I'm not a guy, you know, that, that is like, hey, one, two, three, four, five, this is how it needs to be done, but this is the overall vision. Um, and I think allowing somebody like Jenny to be able to get to that end goal, um, however she feels best, um, I think that that's going to be important. And, and just more so uh, defining our daily schedules, right? So there's a lot of times where I'm underprepared, you know, at the start of the day and right on the dot, 8.30 a.m. every day, you know, I know I'm getting a good morning text from her. And, and it's um, oftentimes, quite frankly, I've felt that I haven't been the one that's prepared enough. Like she's almost wanting more and I have to figure out what to give without it taking a huge investment of my time in order to delegate that, that task accordingly, right? So I think just continuing to learn about how we operate, maybe getting in a little bit more of a structure on how, um, you know, we regroup and how we proceed forward on different tasks and initiatives. Um, I think it's more so my side than it is hers, like I said, but I think that'll be ultimately key and um, making sure that she has that free reign and responsibility to go and take what I'm not good at and she is and run with it. Of course, of course, helping you out in the things that you have weaknesses. And I love that. Now, how much time has she saved you? I know she's been working only with you for two and a half months, as you mentioned earlier. How much time has she saved you in a day? Let's say it doesn't have to be a specific number. Yeah, it's hard to place, right? Because, you know, we're still kind of in this what I would consider honeymoon stage mm-hmm. where it hasn't even been 90 days yet. So the cycle of the transaction in real estate, right? Everything takes at least 90 to 120 days just to get them up and running and then be able to measure from there. Right. So, but I know for sure, one thing that she has really owned, and I think as real estate agents, it's becoming more and more important is our online presence. Right. So not necessarily something I prioritize at the top of the list, right. When we first started working together, but as I started to understand what she liked to do and what she was good at, a lot of that being like her, her knowledge of um, social media and, and online advertising and marketing and digital platforms. Right. Um, she's really taken all of our online presence, specifically our pile residential, my team's Instagram accounts and some other social media accounts and literally does everything now. Right. So things that, and what I'll say to that is it, that's not, isn't always, it isn't always necessarily a time savings today. It's, but it's the fact that we're more consistent, right? So we're, we're saving ourselves time and we're, we're earning money long-term, but it's just foundational at this level. So we haven't seen those results yet. But my point there is like, if, if she wasn't the one that was coordinating that and asking me for final approval or captions or whatever, um, those things wouldn't be going out. So you can also look at it like what is being done, but what is also um, what wasn't being done just by not being in a relationship with somebody like Jenny with Cyberbacker. So to put a little bit more of a, an actual number to it, I would say probably two to three hours a day right now. Um, and I see that growing pretty rapidly as, you know, we start to trust each other more and she really knows like, you know, how I like things to, to run. Of course, it also takes time. So when it, co- it takes time, especially with trust, of course, and getting used to working with each other. And especially this is something that it's not really the conventional way of doing things. Usually we have assistants in the same building, same place, same country. But again, this is something you but again, just needs time. Right. Yeah. I, and I know that, you know, by 9 a.m. every morning, like truthfully, one of the most important things to do in my real estate business is talk to clients, set appointments, lead generate. And then newly adapted is, I think for all realtors, is you have to make a social media post every single day. And I think that that is our way of, you know, we can be in relationship with like you and I can be in relationship right here, but it takes more time and energy. But if you put a social media post out, you can now capture the audience of thousands all in, all in one post. So the consistency of her really owning that social media content schedule and calendar and every day knowing that in the beginning I used to write captions, she would actually do the posting and all that. And now she's got to a point where she understands how I like things to be written um, and kind of letting my personality shine through the captions on some of these posts. Now she's fully doing everything, posting it, writing the captions, coming up with the new ideas. um, And it's going out every single day, which is the piece that I would skip over, you know, trying to be a business owner wearing all these different hats. Um, before I was started working with Jenny. Of course, of course, building relationship is very, very important in real estate. Now, you already touched on it a bit. You mentioned social media, digital platforms, but what are, are the other things that Jenny does for you and your team, just for our listeners and watchers to know more? 
Yeah. So this has been the part where I came into this relationship knowing I needed administrative help and support, thinking I knew exactly where that was, like where those gaps in my business and my, my time and my schedule are. Um, and it's changed a little bit. So 100%, like first priorities for us was online presence being number one. Um, side by side with my database, right? And our team database. So making sure we're getting everybody into one place, making sure that that database is being groomed and, you know, tagged appropriately. Uh, we're just now transitioning over um, to a different program. So like being able to, to learn that program and things like that. Um, and making sure that all these people, we have a big client event coming up, right? So we basically now have this nicely groomed database of thousands of people, and now we can start sending out invites and she's been, you know, helping with event brights and, you know, some of the tasks associated with anything relating the database, right? Which for us and our specific team, we've, we've been a uh, referral agent team, right? So meaning 90% of our business is done by word of mouth through referrals. We're not paying for a lot of leads. We're not doing Zillow, anything like that. So our database is our most important asset. So those have been the first two things because they kind of go hand in hand. One's a little bit more direct with like, e-newsletters and, and reach outs and event invites and the other one's a little bit more passive but ultimately achieves probably an even greater result which is the social media um aside from that she's helped with you know integral just i would say admin things that come up on a daily basis so we need something designed um or we need uh a list of things from a sponsor carried over or i need her to follow up on something with a team member of, of something that was said in a team meeting um, I've even had her sit on Zoom calls with me uh, to take good notes and to just make sure we capture all the important takeaways that we're responsible for. Mm -hmm. um, and as we continue to, to grow and evolve, uh, we're probably going to start evol involving um, a little bit more support for not only up until this point, it's been more like mm -hmm. a personal help and personal admin assistance. Okay. Um, and now I have some other agents on the team, like what are some things that I can do to offer value to them? through the relationship with our cyber backer, Jenny, right? So those might be things such as like, you know, scheduling buyer showings or, you know, setting up um, and controlling people's calendars to make sure that everything's, um, you know, accounted for appropriately. Um, but that's been the two to three biggest things right now. And we're excited to just continue once we get some of these, these things bulletproof to continue adding some other things on. Of course, of course. That's very, very exciting where you and Jenny and this partnership is going to go within the next few weeks, months, and even the years to come. Now, sure. what have been some challenges? Not really challenges, but um, let's say opportunities that you've had working with Cyberbacker. I like that. Opportunities. I'm a big, big believer in, in language. Yes. And communication. Um, I think the opportunity that I, I mentioned the biggest one is me being able to pull myself out of the day to day. Mm -hmm to say by 8.30 every morning, hey, these are the, like, it's basically getting ahead of like what's important, but it's hard in real estate because what's important might change on the drop of a dime, right? So like I, if, yesterday we had an example where it was, hey, Jordan, you know, I, I, I hear you. That's the thing that you want to do. I'm doing this thing right now that you also told me to do, like which one's priority, right? Which one needs to get done first? And um, just more so, I think the opportunity there is, is me getting a better system in place for mm -hmm. reviewing the day, reviewing the week, understanding what the goals are for the week, the month, the quarter, um, and being able to project out what's going to be coming down the pipeline in terms of what's important or what task or what systems or operational processes are, are in place. And then being able to uh, communicate that um, properly to Jenny. And it's not that I don't trust, it's just there's, there's times where you feel as a business owner that you, it's hard to give something away that you've done yourself for so long. Um, so I think that's one. Uh, I think the other is probably just some other opportunities I would say is, is probably just more understanding some more of the in and outs of like the actual real estate process, right? So it's been very surface level in terms of like the intuition to be like, okay, this thing is now coming next. This is how we need to prepare for that. So I think that's more something that needs to be driven by my vision and just her continuing to research and, 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 and learn. And, and she's definitely taking that uh, to heart and she's going and studying things that I ask her to look into. And um, so those are the kind of the two, the two opportunities I see today that um, we'll continue to improve on as we go here. Of course, of course. I think it's not just you who went through the, uh, the path that you said 
not really used to giving out the task because you were so much used to doing everything on your own. I think a lot of people, a lot of our cyber B CEOs went through that as well. But of course, within time, when building the trust and the relationship, you would be able to release that as well. Again, not just the trust, just getting used to giving out the tasks. Yeah. Yeah. And it is, and it's, it's critically important, you know, for other business owners that might be listening to this, like it's hard like there's days where I'm kicking the can down the road, you know, at eight 30 comes around. I'm like, Oh man, I need, I need to say, Hey, I need an hour, do this thing when really it's probably not the most effective use of her time to be doing that. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out like what's priority that day. And so, you know, maybe just working on schedules a little bit and understanding, like, I think there's something to be said about for any business owner that's going to bring on um, some support, such as a cyber backer, like it's, there's something to say about your time, but it's also like your, your inner, like your, your financial investment, but there's also your time and your energy investment. And there's times of the day where I'm in a more creative space and I'm firing things off to Jenny and it's, you know, it's all scattered all over the place. So I think understanding how you flow through your day, like where your energy levels are in the morning. Like for me, I like to start my day a little bit later, right? Because I like to get my, my workouts in my meditation. And that kind of leads me up until nine, nine 30 in the morning where some people start at seven, right? So if you know those things and you know, it might be 10 o'clock until you actually have that all figured out in your yes. brain to then delegate, uh, making sure that you, that's a check-in point. Um, so a lot of times I'm firing things off, you know, random times of the day. And I'm like, Hey, don't respond to that right now. It's just, I have to get it out of my brain. So just coming up, I think with a better system on how to stay organized on not only things that are important, but like visions and ideas as well. Um, I think is, is, is a very important thing to be successful with this. Of course, of course, that is very, very important. Getting used to working with, with each other. Now, there are still a lot of p people right now, a lot of business owners, not buying into the idea of virtual leverage or having their own cyber backer. What advice would you be able to give them? Uh, I think part of it's about what we just said about like, you got to get out of your own way. And like, you know, there's, there's so many things even today that I know I shouldn't be doing, but I also know it's irresponsible for me to just fire off a bunch of things to somebody like a cyber backer. Um, but I think that what I've started to realize in this business and what led me to, you know, this leverage and other pieces of leverage in my, in my team is if you truly want to build like, I think a lot of people, they get into real estate, right? And I'm just using real estate as an example, because that's the world I operate and live in. But like, it's hard to ever get to a point in real estate where you can go and actually live the desired lifestyle that you think you're building through real estate, unless you put other people that are better than you in areas of opportunity for them to be the best in that area of opportunity. And, you know, it takes a long time to kind of start understanding that. But the more you can realize like, okay, I know I'm good, like face-to-face -face with people. So like everything I'm doing, that's not face-to-face, -face, that's not, you know, getting new listings or cultivating a database or networking or having a buyer consultation or negotiating a deal, all those things truly can be delegated. And I think once you realize that, um, you know, a lot of times full-time administrative help is a body in the chair next to you. And there's a lot more liability with that. There's a lot more, pressure to you know meet those deadlines of of payroll every single month so i think there's a good in between um, that a lot of people should be exploring which is virtual leverage um, that's not quite the full gamut of the, you know the you're still getting the thing is though that i was surprised is you're still getting the 40 hours full-time person but you're not necessarily you know having to provide the, the health insurance or you're yes. not having to pay the taxes on that so just from a high level business owner standpoint like you can, you can have the person that's in-house, but also they might have some weaknesses that they can leverage off to somebody that's not in their 20%, right? So um, I guess my advice would be is like, really think about what you want your life to look like. What are the things in your day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month, or again, in the way of you spending time with your loved ones or giving back to your community or spending time in your passions, um, and that's an opportunity for somebody else to shine and for somebody else to succeed or for somebody else to make money and build their career and their life. Right. So um, I think there's a lot to go around and just having that abundance mindset of I don't need to do everything. And I just want to focus on the things I'm best at. Um, I think that'll quickly give you that time back to do more and more of those things, which then you'll really start to see the return, which I haven't yet seen. But again, we're only three months into this. 
So I can only imagine six months from now being like, oh, wow, look at all that extra time that I invested into the things that moved the needle for Jordan Pyle um, and somebody else. It's not that they didn't happen. They just didn't happen. Yes. By me, right. So I think that's the main piece of advice I would give. Terrific advice. I love what you mentioned, the 80-20 concept. I'm a yeah. firm believer of that as well. Now, I know Jenny would be listening, of course, to this episode. Would you want to give her a quick shout out? I would love to. I mean, Jenny, Jenny knows, like, you know, from the very first call we had, I felt like I wanted to make her feel part of the family, right? Even though we're in Chicago, I actually have a transaction manager in, in Colorado, and then Jenny's, you know, in the Philippines. Um, yeah, I mean, she's always asking, what else can I do to help you? She, she understands it's not just tasks. It's like I was talking about, it's, it's about how I'm feeling or, you know, if, if she knows I have something coming up on a certain weekend, um, like she's, she's asking ahead of time, what can I do to make sure that you're not worried and stressed about that, you know, going into the weekend, right? So, yeah, she's been great, uh, a truly uh, integral partner to the team. And um, I'm excited for me to figure things out a little bit more because I know I'm not necessarily, um, you know, our relationship, working relationship isn't fully optimized at the moment because of some of the things that I got to figure out from my end and where I want to go. But overall, she's crushing it. Um, we, we talk every day. I talk to her more than I talk to a lot of people in my life. So <laughs> but you truly do build that relationship. And I think that both sides, you know, want to feel that this thing that you're chasing and that you're building every single day is is something that's mutually owned by by everybody that's involved. And she's definitely been part of that. Of course, we are very excited to see where your partnership with Cyberbacker would be the next six months in the next year. We are very, very excited. And again, Jordan, thank you very much for being on the show today. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.